we don't need to, to dive into the details right here, but what I want to, you to notice is how they come together. Right? This is one half of the DNA molecule, and then this is the other half of the DNA molecule, and they're bonded together in the middle with these little dashed lines right here. A always goes with T, and C always goes with G. Again, we're going to dive into why they only bond this way in just a second. But before we dive one level deeper in the next drawing, I want to call your attention to the fact that the nitrogen here, there's a nitrogen atom hanging off of this carbon, it is connected to an H, hydrogen. There's a hydrogen here connected to this oxygen. There's a hydrogen here connected to this oxygen. There's an oxygen, uh, I'm sorry, a hydrogen here connected to this nitrogen, and there's an oxygen here connected to this hydrogen. What have you noticed? All of the connection points between the nucleotide bases in the DNA molecule involve hydrogen. All of them, look right here. Hydrogen connected to oxygen or bonded to oxygen. Hydrogen bonded to nitrogen, hydrogen bonded to oxygen, hydrogen bonded to nitrogen, hydrogen bonded to oxygen. This is called hydrogen bonding. You can guess why, because it's a bond, a chemical bond involving hydrogen. Now, hydrogen bonds are important in chemistry because they're strong enough to bond it together. In chemistry, a chemical bond is a force that holds two atoms together, essentially. You can think of H2O being water. There's bonds holding those oxygen uh, and hydrogen atoms together. Same thing here, there's just more atoms that are bonded. But hydrogen bonding is just strong enough to keep it bonded, but also not super strong. Why do you think a DNA molecule, right down the middle, because every, every one of these connection points functions as a zipper, why do you think it's important that these bonds here, these hydrogen bonds, are not that strong? Well, because DNA needs to be able to separate. That's how uh, the cells multiply and how the DNA molecule copies itself. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.